Welcome back. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express on SABC Three on this Tuesday morning. Um, uh, we're talking entertainment now. I'm trying to let the story swirl around in my head of how you go from pole position to finishing last in the grid. <laughs> we haven't seen the guy. We haven't seen the guy, but it seems like a new flame from Miss Nicole Scherzinger. Yeah, it seems like she's just not having her. It's not her year. I mean, uh, her record company left her. She broke up with Lewis Hamilton. I mean, they've had a relationship of seven years, and she's now with someone a lot younger. And I'm talking about four years her junior he's 23 years old Girl. and they were seen Cougar smooching time. it out in Mykonos having a good time so can um, I see this bloke what's his what's his name there we go Muditli he's, oh. he's a footballer so he's got that kind of a <laughs> feel going nice for physique. him but, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's got a very interesting name as well. Can we just, just out him? His name is Pajtim Kasami. Yeah, Pajtim Kasami. Hmm. Uh, and he's a footballer. Uh, he's a, a footballer. manly guy. And, and maybe that's just what she needs is a bit of fun away from Maybe him. a rebound. Yeah, we don't yeah. know. But I mean, he's like 23. Uh, like 14 years gap. Well, I don't know, like, how, how, how big must the age gap be before it becomes uncomfortable? And you're like, eh, I don't know. It's not even Kugatal anymore. It's just a bit, <laughs> I know. I think she's still within the bounds. I think she's still within the bounds. Yeah. Um, now, we, we've been talking a lot about the celebrities and their celebrity power, but it comes down to a dollar sign. Who is the wealthiest? Who is the richest? So, okay, so Forbes brings out their top 100 list and seems to top that list the most paid celebrity is Pac Floyd Mayweather. Oh, Floyd yeah. Mayweather, my word. Well, wife. Pac Man came in uh, second place, and Katy Perry, she took in third place. And what wow. I just absolutely love about people saying, you know, One Direction's also in the top five. They made it, even As despite Zayn Man. Well, Seems like without Zayn Malik. Do you think yeah. Zayn still gets royalties? No, he should. I yeah. think so. That's <laughs> no his voice. So. But <laughs> what I'd like to highlight here is that these guys, that Manny and, and Mayweather became the wealthiest sportsmen this year from one fight. <laughs> one <laughs> fight. Where is the world it's of unfair. boxing at the moment? What are we doing with our lives? <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, the craziest thing for me is Beyonce dropped down to 29th position on the list. But I mean, people are saying, you know, she's only earned, and an emphasis on only, <laughs> 54 point something million oh, dollars. But I mean, who wouldn't mind earning that? That's That's she looks crazy. sad, man. But she's also, she's had, you know, her she growing family. Sad. She's She really is a wife now, as much as she, and a mother, as much as she's and a also, performing artist. And also, we're talking yeah. about one year's earnings. These people probably have investments so far up in foreign accounts that like they don't even need to worry about what they're earning one year. He has to like, close his eye when you're talking about it. Oh, oh. Well, we're talking about, well, talking about money. We still have uh, Donald Trump. I mean, he was now, it seems like he's fired. Basically, NBC, they've decided they're going to pull The Apprentice as well as the Miss USA pageant after he made some derogatory comments about Mexicans. So Did he go to Steve Hofmeyer? But he's he's been mouthing off about South Africa. He has been he has been in the press a lot lately and for he very to... opinionated reasons, rather yeah. than doing the business that we know that he does. You've been oh, fired. Wow. Oh. All right. <laughs> anyway. But I mean, you know, everybody's been talking about the epicness of Sunday night's BET Awards. Yeah. We were there to catch up with some of the things and just to give you a scoop of what went down since some South Africans were there. But unfortunately, they didn't come home with anything. But nonetheless, they were flying the South African flag high. So let's have a look. The BET Awards were all about the throwbacks, flashbacks and mashups. Diddy's first appearance since Kettlebell Gate took a literal tumble as he appeared to fall into a hole in the stage during an epic bad boy reunion. The legendary Janet Jackson was the leading lady of the night as she not only received the Ultimate Icon Music Dance Visual Award, but was treated to a star-studded tribute from Tanash, Jason Derulo and Kiara. anticipated performance was the weekend collaboration with Alicia Keys, which brought the crowd to its knees. Not forgetting our own South African celebs representing during the weekend-long BET Awards experience, which honors black excellence in various fields. But Nang, Mini Dlamini, Donald, AKA and David Klale were all there to get a piece of the action, while AKA and The Soil lost out on the Best African Act, which went to Ghana's Stone Boy, AKA ruled the BET experience stage with an epic performance. David Plowley was hashtag winning when Beyonce's mom, Tina Knowles, came backstage to congratulate him on his 15-piece showcase at the BET Fashion and Beauty Show. There's no stopping our local pack as they stay at the top of the game.